August 29th, 1997, Skynet, a computer system built to protect us, became self-aware. It viewed humanity as a threat to its existence and decided to act. Judgment Day, as we eventually called it, marked the beginning of the war against the machines. Skynet attacks happened almost daily, but the attack that happened on that day was like nothing we'd seen before. Where's the rest of the resistance? I don't know. No! Private Jacob. I know who you are. We can't do this right now, kiddo. I don't want to go with no, you. No, you don't, but we can't stay here. Who's there? Oh, thank God. You're from the Resistance. See, Patrick? He's going to help us. No, they're going to get us. Please, you need to help me. My little brother, he just won't listen. I'm not going. Leave me alone. Terminators! Get down! Get down! What's going on? Shh. about to pass out. We need to stop soon. Okay, we'll do that. I don't think we've been properly introduced. I'm Ryan. That over there is Eric. She's a doctor of the group. Jennifer's a scavenger, and Colin, well, you can ask him yourself what he thinks he does. I'm Jacob. I'm a private from the Resistance. Pacific Division. Pacific? You're a long way from home. What you doing down here? My entire division was wiped out. I'm trying to get in touch with the South Division. I've got a message for Commander Baron. So, it's true? The Annihilation Line's coming? It wasn't the Annihilation Line. It was something else. Then what was it? To be honest, I'm not sure myself. God damn it! That's as far as this piece of shit will go. Let's get off the road. Pull up over there. We got some time on them, so let's not lose our heads. I'll be on the fucking lookout for tin cans. Aaron, you do what you think is best for Mark. I'll see what I can do about the bus. Jacob, it might take a while, so can you look inside and see if it's safe to stay? Sure. Jennifer, would you help me? Sure. <laughs> Jacob Rivers, marked for termination.
Are you all right? Jacob? Jacob! Hours later, they found me lying in front of her hideout. I made it out alive, but not all of us did. Colin's dead, and the stranger I saw is nowhere to be found. I told them about everything. I said that it wasn't safe for them to be with me. But Jennifer suggested that right now, nowhere is safe, so we might as well stick together. Everyone pulled through as we prepared for the worst. But nothing happened. Jacob? Are you awake? How long have you been sitting there? Not that long. I, I know that you're going to that hospital today, so I went on my first scavenging run. And I found something for oh, you. Thank you. You're welcome. Did you go with your sister? No. As soon as Erin heard that there's a hospital nearby, she asked Jennifer to go look for some medicine. So I, I went alone. D don't tell her that, okay? She's already at the medical district? Yep. Oh, and Ryan wanted to talk to you. Check out this book I found! Good job, Patrick. It's a military training manual. Thanks a lot, Rivers. When I heard that Private Rivers of the non-existent Pacific Division wants no needs to have a meeting with me, I thought, oh, what a lucky girl I am. But then I started thinking, who is Private Rivers? And why should I treat him as anything other than the deserter he is? So right now I'm hoping you give me a good reason why I shouldn't just skip the court-martial and execute you where you stand. This is bullshit. And who do we have here? A brave scavenger? Rivers, do you always bring unauthorized civilians to fight your battles for you? We would have got to you sooner if you hadn't pulled out all your troops from Pasadena. People died there because of you! And what did you do about it? Did you pick up a gun and fight back? Or did you run like you sewer rats always do? Wake up! We need to move. What? What's going on? Everyone, wake up! You need to get out of here. Who the fuck are you? It doesn't matter. What matters is that you can't stay here any longer. She asks a question, and I suggest answering. You don't want to do that. I've got this place rigged with explosives, and there's a detonator in my pocket. You got what? Do you mind? Lower your gun, Ryan. He's the one that saved my life. What do you want from us? You have to get out of here. Skynet's on its way. They finally found you. What do you mean, they found us? They were looking for us? Not for you. For him. He's essential to winning this war. Skynet knows that. That's why they've been following him for months. I have to make sure nothing happens to him. In a couple of minutes, an infiltrator will walk in here trying to kill him. I can't let that happen. We have to bury that Terminator here once and for all. All right, everybody, you heard him. Let's get moving. I'll get the bus ready. There's no time for that. There's a passage here, it will lead you out. Use it. What was that? All right, everyone, get out! Jacob! Give me that. It's the same one. It's the same model. Leave! Now! How the hell's he still alive? Go, go, go! Watch out! Don't just stand there! Run! You're still alive? Good. Apparently Skynet's got a real hard-on for you. So we figured why not use you as bait? Aren't you afraid that Skynet will bring a lot of firepower if they know we're both here? Afraid? No. Prepared for that eventuality? Yes. 
We've got eyes on the ambush site from every angle. If anyone shows up, it means they were listening. What if it's one of our guys, or just a scavenger? Too bad. We can't have anyone or anything sabotage our plan. Not this time. This time? We were very close once before. For years, we've been preparing for the final attack. But it took just one man to fuck everything up. That day, Perry... Our previous field commander died, and I inherited control of South Division. Since then, I've been making sure that no one fucks up again. We've got movement. Take position. What do you have? A hooded man's walking down the street. Might be a scavenger. Rivers, you saw him. Is it the same model? Is it the infiltrator? I can't tell. We're waiting for your signal. I think that might be it. You think? Good enough for me. Cease fire! Cease fire! Target down! I repeat, target down! Go check him! Eyes on the target. Proceed with caution. Is he dead? What the fuck? Is this the target! It can't get away. Fire at will! There was no doubt anymore. Skynet had created a cybernetic organism. It was designed to blur the line between a man and a machine. People started to think that there were Terminators amongst us, wolves in sheep's clothes. Some of us left, even though we hadn't seen any other infiltrators yet. Or at least, we didn't think we had. And that fear of not knowing was what turned the tide of this war. That night, Skynet won. Uh, I still have to run some tests, so f for now I would say no. We need some more time, Connor. I know you don't want to hear this, Commander, but if there's one person who can help us, it's Dr. Mac. Mac? It, we don't even know if he's alive. He is. He's in the Hollywood Hills. We knew a time would come when we'd need him again, so we've kept an eye on him. Wait. You've been watching him without telling me? your judgment before, Commander. That's why I decided that Max's whereabouts were no longer This is bullshit. He can't just magically fix all of our problems. He's a man, not a god. A man that That's makes enough, mistakes. Commander. You know what happened last time. He's the reason Perry's dead. I said that's enough. Sergeant Rivers? Yes, sir. Techcom believes that being marked for termination is a badge of honor. A sign that we're doing something right. We wear it proudly. Knowing you're wearing such a badge, Rivers, is all I need to trust you with handling this mission. Commander Baron will fill you in on the details. Good luck, soldier. Over and out. Looks like you're going to Hollywood Hills. Dr. Edwin Mack is the one who taught us how to use Skynet's weapons, so there's a chance he can do it again. Take him that second generation plasma rifle and see if he's able to reprogram it. If we want to use Skynet's weapons, we need to bypass their encryption lockouts. How will I find him? He's obsessed with surveillance. So when you get there, look for any cameras, biometric sensors, or any other tech stuff. He should be around. That's it. That camera. Dr. Mac! Is that you? The Resistance needs your help. Mac! It would be a shame to lose that camera. Now, why would you do that? Because we don't have time for this. Come out here. Skynet has developed a new Terminator model, the Infiltrator. You've seen one already? We've captured one, and we need your help. Are you there? How do I know you're not an Infiltrator? You've seen them. You know how incredibly lifelike they are, so you should understand my concerns. Head up that hill. regularly patrol this area. Don't let them see you. So you know I'm not a Terminator? Of course I do. They are way better shots than you. Then why are you making me do all this? Commander! Rivers, you're alive. What happened here? 
An infiltrator got in. Brought lots of friends with him. We didn't stand a chance. Since they didn't go offline, I assume we did not destroy Skynet's central core either? No. No, we didn't. It was an ambush. They moved it before we got there. So this is it? We lost? We lost this goddamn war? Not yet. What do you mean? I got the Central Core's real coordinates. You have? I've got to learn not to doubt you anymore, Rivers. We need to call Connor. He may still be able to stop Skynet. Forget it. I couldn't get him on the radio for hours. You need to find him. You need to give him those coordinates. First, let's get you out of here. No. You don't have time for this. You have to leave me here. I can't. You're not going to disobey my final order, are you? Before you leave, I've got a confession to make. There's a reason I wasn't so keen on you from the beginning. Remember that list of people Skynet marked for termination? I lied. I told you that you were number three. The truth is you're number two. Just behind Connor. You took my spot. And for the life of me, I couldn't understand why. But now I know. They're coming. You need to leave now. Use a vent in the command room to sneak past them. And then find Connor and give him those coordinates. Don't worry about them. If they come here, I'll just reason with them. I still have a couple magazines full of arguments. Now go. Good luck, Jacob. Commander. Commander. displacement equipment to send protectors back in time. He knew that the final battle would not be fought here, but in the past. A resistance soldier named Kyle Reese was the first man to go back to 1984. His objective was to protect Sarah Connor, John's mother. The second one was not a man, but a terminal. Using the chip Dr. Mackey programmed, we took control of a single infiltrator unit, Cyberdyne Systems Model 101. It was sent back to 1995 to intercept the sole T-1000 prototype and protect a young John Connor. I couldn't have someone risk their life to protect me. That's why I decided to go myself. 
It gave me a chance to right the wrongs of my actions. After 30 years, this war against the machines is finally over. But not all of us live to see the end. found Baron's body in the shelter. She never stopped fighting. And if she's still alive, I doubt she ever will. She was the leader we needed in the war time. But I'm not sure if she'll find a place during this time of peace. I lied to Aaron about her husband to make her leave the shelter. I saved her life. But at what cost? Was it my place to intervene false hope. Ryan was kicked out of the shelter because of me. I hope that one day I'll have a chance to explain to him why I did that. Jennifer and Patrick left before the attack. I'm glad I convinced her to leave. I hope that our paths will cross sometime. Baron asked me to kill Mac, but I couldn't do it. He left soon after my warning, only to be captured by Skynet. We found him alive in one of Skynet's prisons. And as for me, it was time to start over. Listen to me if you want to live. 